I live! I'm alive! Well, more or less, technically, I'm alive. How are you guys doing? <laughs> it's your old pal Jim here, and we're doing more of Murdered Soul Suspect. Now, if I can just do this correctly and not blow anything up, it'd be great. Give me a second. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yes! And will the other thing work? No! Yes! Hey! <laughs> Alright. Now we can actually get I'm gonna I'm get him. I don't know who I'm getting, but I'll get him. I don't know who it is, but... <laughs> We're trying to find that out, who it is to get him. Uh, oh, I can only hope that we'll still... <laughs> hopefully find something out. It's been more or less been dancing around the concept of why, where, and how. As, you know, who's doing the murders and all that. Perhaps we'll scratch over the surface. Get that bell killer guy. <laughs> I'll try. Uh, maybe the ghost detective will get enough spoop, <laughs> spook bucks to afford a real fedora. Oh, don't make me dream. That would be so good if, if that was if that was possible. All right, let's see. What were we doing? What were we doing in Hawaii? Um, oh, right. We're in the building. Wait, what? What am I investigating now? The, the, the kid just kind of left me here, so there's there's more to investigate? Um, I'm getting achievements. Does that count? Whoa. It's not just me. Is the frame rate all right? Does the frame rate look all right to you guys? Looks a little... Looks a little jumpy. Well, apparently... Oh, here we go. Okay, I guess. Victim. All right, the victims on the board were young women with no signs of sexual assault. Okay, yeah, I mean, yeah. Is that it? Can I go now? Am I done with the investigation? I am not done with the investigation. What else is there left to do? Is there something here? That's a cigarette. There's nothing else to do. The frames are fine? Good. Okay, making sure. Got the clues, now you got to put them together? Typically, it tells me to press Q to answer the question and all that, but I'm not getting- I'm not even getting that. We didn't break it, did we? I hope we didn't break it. Uh, I'm gonna try to leave, because I don't know what else to do in there. I thought I was supposed to ch Yeah. I can leave, right? Yeah, that's what I was supposed to do. <laughs> Weird, okay. In the city, <laughs> there are cups that are alive and cups that are dead. <laughs> I'm one of the dead ones. All right, so when we last left off in the past scene, the girl, yep. Hey, there you go. You can't get away that easy. If you care about the case so much, find your own damn clue. You won't find your mother without me. What? Oh, dialogue maybe? Okay. What would make her help me? All right, fair enough. Uh, let's see. Uh, powerful scream? No. Witness's mother's missing. Witness's mother's note. Runaway witness. Killer's motive. Killer's identity. And the witness's destination. Okay. Uh, so just one. Okay, easy enough. Um, witness's mother's note. Witness's mother's missing. I'm going to go for... I missed the floaty hands. Oh, I I, 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 uh, I did that last time. The floaty hands uh, was uh, was one of the officers talking to the, the big one, the big bald one that doesn't has no respect for Nolan, the main character. He was talking to that guy, and he's like, you won't let go of the case. Why won't he let go of the case? Uh, we did that last time. I'm going to say this one. Ah, oh, what are you talking about? Does he need to find a clue that I could have misinterpreted? I need to find a clue I could have misinterpreted. Okay. Uh, a clue that the meh, that the meh, <laughs> oh, excuse me, I did, ooh, mm. excuse me, woo, I got the sneezies going on. What clue could have the main character misinterpreted? Killer's motive, maybe? The killer's motive, maybe. Okay. 
That's a negative. I got one more shot. Oh boy. I don't. I. I, I haven't. Neither when I first played this game nor when I started streaming this game do I know what happens when you exhaust all your tries. So this will this will be a new experience for us if I get it wrong again. But let's see if we can figure the actually figure this out. A clue that the main character may have misinterpreted. Got the killer's identity, the witness's destination, that might be something. The powerful scream, the witness's mother's note. Or the runaway witness. What clue could the main character have misinterpreted it? I did the killer's motive. That was a no-no. The killer's motive was a no-no. And neither was the witness's mother. Which is surprising. The mother's note? Uh, where is it? Let's try it. Hey, let's try. Good call, Tailsnake. Leave now. I might look at the station and don't look back. All right, listen. Your mom wrote that book to help find the killer. It's not going to say what happened to her. The truths we're both searching for can only be answered by finding the killer. I need a pair of hands in the living world, and you need a detective. last case Ashland Hill Cemetery they can't see it but it's there what I, I don't know I get I guess my mom thought there was a case that was linked to the bell killer the cops didn't okay we go there next Ashland Hills we don't come wait. on we need each other you need me a lot more than I need you. either way partners <laughs> fine for now. Now is all I worry about. Ronan. My name is Ronan O'Connor. I'm... Joy. <laughs> Seriously? And Ronan is better? Why don't your parents think you'd be a medieval gladiator? So <laughs> we're really going to a cemetery, huh? Yep. Uh, I, I have to do something. So I'll, uh, I'll just meet you uh, there. Uh, 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 uh. No, no, no. I'm not letting you ditch you me again. You follow me. The deal is off. It was meant to be. I'll see you there. If not, I won't. No, you better show up to that cemetery, kid. You're the only living person I have left. Oh, Wednesday Adams, what are you doing? Okay. Joy needs my help to find her missing mother, and she can help me track down the bell killer. Okay. I like that there's only one shadow. Yeah, they they, they, they really they, they put some thought into this. Specific put some regular detail and I do like how uh, how they do that kind of stuff there we actually hang on a second oh no what did I do I killed it I killed it is what I did I'm just uh, trying to edit something here and make sure that I'm not breaking things it's not my goal I swear I'm just trying to make sure that the game runs smoothly I don't know. Someone's bugging me. Hang on a second. Uh, PC options, maybe. Oh, hey. Oh, no. Everything's pretty much where I want it to be. Okay. All right. Never mind. It's just me. It's my mind playing tricks on me is what it is. Oh. Oh, good. I was supposed to go this way. I was, I was slightly concerned. Run, run, run. Little daddy ticks T-word away. Ooh, ooh. Oh, cool. I was supposed to come through here anyway. Help these folks out. Okay. Neato, neato, neato. To the cemetery, I guess. Here we go. Whoop. Hey, stop it. There we go. <laughs> I used to see this as Julia's final resting place. Now it's just where her body is buried. Guess I'll be buried here soon. This is home to neither of us. Just the place for others to come and remember what they used to know. Spooky scary. I don't know if coming to like a graveyard or cemetery type place is a good idea there, Ronan. 
Oh. Uh, yeah, I totally didn't see that. Ronan? Sure that's a good idea, buddy? So, like, how he's just... I'm gonna keep... I may be dead, but I'm gonna keep smoking, dang it. Oh. Oh. Who? <laughs> Great. Another freaky ghost chick is shadowing me. Okay. Hopefully we'll be Sorry able to... it's been so long, Julia. I mean, I'm pretty sure you'll be forgiven. You'd kind of been tied up. Ashland. That's funny. Ashland was also the name of a place in uh, uh, PlayStation 1 game called World's Scariest Police Chases based off of the, sh of the American show of the same name. And it would take place in a fictional town <laughs> called Ashland in the United States. Uh, they never specified whether or not it was an actual Ashland. That, so I'm going to assume it was fictional, but it is pretty funny. Not funny as in the game was funny. It was funny to me. <laughs> oh, yeah. With Sheriff John Bennell. Meaning behind cheated death. I had to ask that Grim Re uh, about that Grim Reaper tattoo. I know it says cheated death right on it, but I didn't know how or why. Then he showed me the scar. Getting stabbed between the ribs like that could have easily been fatal. It's a miracle he's alive. And it didn't stop him from stealing again. He'll never learn. Why do I like that? <laughs> uh, no. Oh. I actually got stuff written on him. I should probably not walk on them. Ghosts! Wait. Okay, ghosts! <laughs> hey there, Mr. Ghost Man. Uh, you're okay? You okay? I don't know. I was so drunk. And we both were. One minute her hands were all over me, the next, I'm in the water. By the time I got back up here, she was gone. She pushed you? No, nothing like that. Like I said, I had one too many and lost my balance. I just didn't expect to find her missing when I got back. Something must have scared her off. Yeah, like your floating corpse. Wh what? Forget it. Oh no. That's kind of a... Aw. That's kind of a sad place to be. The, the fact that, you know, they don't know. Oh, the, oh, she's there at least. I'm a. Uh, oh, I'm gonna talk to the ghost man! It makes you miss the warmth of the police station, doesn't it? Your secret errand was to get a flashlight? Keep it down. I can't see you, and we're not talking to each other. Got it? <laughs> this place is crawling with people. Don't wanna know. Hey, we're still people. Yeah, don't be ghostist. The book says that there's a murder happened right here. All I see are dead leaves and mud. This can't be a dead end. I'm not already. What am I gonna do? Yeah, they're just corporally cor 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 corporal crab corporally impaired. Oh, Ronan's on the case. He may be dead, but he knows what he's doing, I think. We need to determine if there is a link to the Bell Killer murders here. Well, that's why we're here. We're here to find out. Also, I want to talk to that guy. What's up, Home Slice? Leave me alone. Can't you see I'm looking for something? Yeah, <laughs> okay. Never mind then. Oh, hey, wait. Why is this here? Why would a shovel be here? Graves aren't dug with shovels, and if it were part of the crime, the cops would have taken it with them. Okay, I will find a clue. How are you? How are you doing? Excuse me, but, uh, did you see the police investigation here a few weeks back? Not close up. 
I think there was something behind me, but I'm not sure. The lady said she saw something on the shoreline. It might be related to my investigation. There's something slight. Oh. Okay, never mind. All right. Well, there's something here apparently. Reveal yourself. Oh God. Oh my God. What can I learn from observing this? Uh, let's see. Deceased. That's that's one thing for sure. Um, washed up. Uh huh. And then uh, tattered. Is it? Yeah, tattered. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? Ghost man saw body. Another ghost saw the victim's body fall down here from upriver. You might know more about it. Hey, Mr. Man! Time for you to not be rude. I gotta talk to you. Oh, neat. He stopped uh, leaning on the thing. <laughs> What do you know about the girl who washed up here? Yeah, you. This thing floated down the river by her body. I think it ended up in the bushes over there. That's all right. Well, thank you. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Increase the volume here next to the body, but where? Washed up by the bushes, eh? Oh, well, I can't really cross the water. Oh, pardon me. Washed up by the bushes, washed up by the owl. Oh. Oh, I didn't owl, it's just, it's not part of the investigation. I guess it's really down there? Am I gonna have to walk all the way down there? But let me investigate the entirety of this place here. Right quickly, make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh! Oh. Okay, well, all right. Well, I can't walk too far, because then I'll be out of the uh, scene, right? Sure. There's more clues here. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, said that something washed up by the bushes, and this is as far as I can go before the game's like, Hey, you're not in the uh, game no more, or in the investigation. So, where could it have possibly have washed up on? I see cans, I see... Maybe down here? Maybe down here by the bushes? Oh, oh hey. Well, this got left behind. The cops must have left this behind after they finished their investigation here. Now, I know you can be sloppy with, uh, with some things, but, I mean, come on. That's an entire roll of police line tape. <laughs> That's an entire roll. Police littering is what it is. Can't pass the moving water. Yeah, I cannot. Well, he said bushes, so I'm thinking that maybe back here bushes? But not down there, because I figured... Yeah. Oh, hey! I got a message by somebody. God dang it. <laughs> let me, uh, let me quickly, uh, 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 do something here. Uh, <laughs> I do not have time to talk to these people. I'm streaming! So, I'm gonna go offline, and let me see. So, as soon as I'm done streaming. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, there's a, a, a bit of a thing my friend wanted to let me know, but I'm letting him know that I couldn't really do it now, and that I'll do it right after I'm done streaming. Now to investigate the bushes! Who do you call to arrest littering police in journal? Too dark in these bushes. <laughs> too dark in what? It's too dark in these bushes. Wait, I missed the thing. Dark bushes. The bushes are too dark to see inside. I need to find a way to search th them with a. The oh, I can let the my friend know. My friendy friend. My friendly friend. Where's she? Oh, she's right there. Your hey, friend. I need your help getting something out of those bushes. Okay. Oh, whoa, hey, okay. You see anything? Yep, still a whole lot of nothing. Really? Oh, hey. That doesn't look like nothing to me. I don't know if it's important, but this is all I can find. 
That's something. This rope, something or another. I couldn't see beyond the leg. Thank you. Familiar about this. Is it? Cause it doesn't seem familiar to me. Oh, 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 hey. Yeah, the 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 no, not the pattern, but the fact that uh, crime scene signature, probably crime scene signature. Uh, I would say crime scene signature. The symbol of the belt killer, the murder scenes who does not. No, not the symbol, but the pattern, I guess. All of the, yep, this one. Yep, yep. I need to get up river, find out how she died. Better tell Joy. Yeah, you don't want to just up and leave. Even though she totally would do the same thing to you. Just saying. Hey, Joy. Body washed up on shore, so <laughs> murder up river. Miles of banks, both sides. Might as well be looking for a needle in a haystack of needles. Oh, genius. I'll be a needle stack. Crawling ghosts. <laughs> Should we just ask her, Sophia? Holy crap, maybe we can. That's that ghost that was watching me. That freaky girl wouldn't leave me alone. Hello? It's her. She's the one in the photo. <sighs> Damn it. Stop doing that to me, will you? Wait. Don't leave me here with... Did you see that? Yeah. She was talking about that. Oh, no! She can help all of us. Of course. Did you hear that? Of course I heard that. Demons. kidding um oh right uh the girl who's been watching me in the cemetery was the murder victim i need to find her right well uh, uh, uh talk to joy now what chase sophia's ghost of course wouldn't be much of a mystery game without all that nonsense now would it all right fine now this is good i have a i i i i uh, uh, well, let's let's tackle this one up here first. I think. Uh, 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 oh, oh, oh! They can't see me, right? Uh, uh, I'm gonna move just in case. They can't see me when I'm hiding and or moving. At least as far as I know. Here we go. Remember, hold R. Hold R. Gotcha. Oh, oh, okay, all right, just, uh, one more, two more to go, oh, there's one over there, whoa, all right, so he goes all the way over there, now he's coming back this way, can the demons hurt Joy? I don't know. We haven't actually had a... Uh, she can walk through the, the, the ones on the floor. I know that much. Don't know if the ones... Uh, if these can hurt her. That's a good question. Alright, come on, come on, come on. And... Gotcha! Whoa! Uh... God! Alright. Okay. Alright. Oh, boy. Alright. Easy does it. I may as well just... Uh, 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 oh! Oh! Can I hide and then do the distract? Nope, gotta be close enough to do the distract, of course. Whoa. Oh, I guess that crow was for the one that was down. It was the one I just took out, I think, yeah. Are you going back down there close to the crow again? Are you going to the crow? Are you even gonna bother with the crow? At all? Oh, yes, you are. All right, maybe I can take him from running in the corner, maybe. Uh, why can't I R him? Whoa. 
Oh. Yeah, for some reason I I was able to distract him, but he didn't care. Like I wasn't given the prompt to actually do do anything. All right, fine. Whatever. Really, I can execute from here. Oh. 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 Gotcha. Got it. Oh God. And animation done. <laughs> Wait, what? You did what? Uh, I, don't, I don't know what's happening. All I know is I think I, am I done? Is there any more? Okay, well, from what I can see, there's no more. So I think we can just keep going. I'll stroll through the graveyard. Graveyards are fascinating places for me, especially the old parts. I suppose it's like the museum. Ronan, like a champ, came with me and listened patiently while I blathered on about the colonial governors who were buried here, about the mass of graves from the plague victims of the 1660s, and the yellow fever that struck down so many canal workers a century ago. So much life and death has happened in this town, and what a peaceful place to get perspective on all of it. Huh. Uh, hey, Harlock. You said I did that little animal. Oh, cool. Well, uh, 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 thank you. <laughs> yeah, Harlock also said, in all the time, I need I need all of the things to get out, to get my mind off of something super stressful. Well, I hope this will help. Stress is never good. I come to find out that it can pretty much ruin your day, if not a bunch of consecutive days. So, um, I definitely hope that improves for you. If anything, hopefully me running around like a chicken with my head cut off will help. <laughs> I just want to solve my murder. I'm also just looking around making sure I didn't miss anything. Lots of hidey holes and places. Wasn't there one up here? Nope. Oh no, it's just this this roundabout corner there that I saw. I thought it was like some sort of building and or mansion or something. No. It was not. I thought wrong. Ashland Cemetery Silent Shores. Okay. Hello. Aha. Uh -huh. Man, this is, Julia's thoughts are all over the place here. Or in general, actually. I suppose I should expect it. A man with that many tattoos isn't afraid of pain and isn't afraid of doing something today he'll regret tomorrow. But if I'm going to be attached to him, I need to have some assurance that he cares if he lives or dies. I hear stories of the chances he takes, and I hope he's just trying to impress me. Because if not, one of these days, he's going to barge into a situation and come out in a box. Oh. Uh, about that. <laughs> Oh, hey, actual people. What are you guys doing here? Come on, man. It can't be that hard. What are you doing? You get over here and try it. Okay. I know it's steel or iron or something, but it's just like a fence, right? I mean, how much can it weigh? <laughs> Should have brought a crowbar. Yeah. We always bring a crowbar when we're hitchhiking to Boston in the middle of the night. What? Just get your ass over here. Hey, no problem. But remember, this whole thing was your idea. Damn! This thing's got to be welded shut or something. No. I'm sure they have doors ready for easy access after they put dead bodies inside. This is not going to end well. What are they doing? Where's the flask? I thought you had it. At least it'll make a good story later. It's around. Just keep looking. It's essential equipment for a road trip, you know. I, I just get all right. Well, I'm going inside here. Ooh. Well, you know, it's just your your average, you know, crypt place where they go. Oh, hi there. Hi. Well, who's the hero? Hey, kid. Who's the hero? My great grandfather. I found a bunch of his things from the war in the attic. I even had a drink from his flask. No one in the family ever talks about him, though. I think it's because of his gorid stories of the war. It must have been great to stick someone with a bayonet or paint a wall with someone's brains. Trust me, kid. 
stuff like that stays with you forever. Tails says, "I'm." Don't find I'm, yourself oh. wishing to forget. So what? He was a hero. I'd do anything to be remembered like that. Instead, people think I'm a coward who committed suicide. I'm sorry, kid. I didn't do it. I don't know how it happened, but I'm no coward. And if I were still alive, I'd slit the throat of every person who ever called me one. Whoa. <laughs> okay, okay, touchy subject. I get it. Yeah, no, no need to go on a murderous rampage. Um, oh, I don't know why I paused. Tail Six says, I'm gonna guess this is one of the touristy things, like having a drink with a famous grave or leaving flowers for a poet or something. I guess so, because otherwise it's not even letting me know. Like, they're just sort of, like, even their, like, their mental stuff is... Haven't had this much fun in... ever. This is fun for you? At least it'll make a good story later. Yeah, no, no. Hey, guys, guess what? I'm trying to get into a crypt. Whose idea was this? Uh, that's just a good question. This is not going to end well. Or, you know, they're just going to be stuck outside not being able to get inside. Can I talk to People you about anything like else? you will never understand. Well, I mean, at least you got the ghostly stuff of uh, of him uh, with you, I guess. How does that even happen? How do you get to take the that stuff with you when you die? Did the things die too? I don't know. All right, well, I'm going to keep going. I can't go to the right, so I'm going to go to the left. Oh, hi there. Oh. Did I make it? Oh, hey, you! First off, how do you do that? And secondly, will you stop it? Tailstick says, I'm guessing there was poison or something in the grandfather's flask. Well, I guess so. I guess that means if that thing does you in, you can take it with you. Hey! Spray painted graffiti. Bell killer graffiti is unlikely the work of the killer himself. Refer danger of cult status to community relations officer. Okay. Is there anything else? Just random graffiti? Okay. Fair enough. Oh, hi there. Don't mind. Oh, God. Yeah, I'll be right there. <laughs> I guess I'll talk to you first. Uh, maybe I can help. Maybe I can help. Damn it. What's wrong with this thing? What do you mean? It seems to be doing its job just fine. <laughs> its job is to let people know who I was, and I was not like this. Not this filthy. I was important and rich and clean. I knew the importance of keeping up appearances. Oh, God. Which is why this just won't do. At least you're better than all the others. Not like the rest of these freaks. You'd be surprised. Oh, boy. Uh, uh, go ahead and watch this animation right quick here. I will be right back. I just, uh, I think there's... <laughs> got a call or something. Wait a minute, where is it? Uh... Yeah, I got a call. I think. Can I return the call? Yes, I can. Yep, I'll be right back, guys. Oh, God. Well, that was great. <laughs> and by the way, Harlock, it looks really good. Thank you. I just saw that on my phone, which I inadvertently left somewhere. Dad did, but I saw it. <laughs> Two speeds? I'll have to check that out on the computer. But for right now, we're going to keep going. Uh, is there anything in here? That's a negative. <laughs> What's going on here? Well, let me read this first. Why Ronan became a cop. Ronan was unusually philosophical today. He doesn't usually say these kinds of things, but he kept going on about karma and how he needed to redeem himself for, from some past misdeeds. I'm assuming he's talking about the crimes in his past, and that's why he needs to become a cop. To atone, he said. It was the only way he could see fixing his life. Well, there's nothing wrong with 
wanting to do good things after knowingly, you know, after having done bad things. I mean, if anything, that's a sign of character. Character development. All right. What is happening here? In the oldest part of the graveyard, oh which was founded in the 1660s. Was that before or after the trials? Oh, good question. Did everyone hear that? <laughs> this young lady just asked if this happened before or after the famous trials. It actually happened a few decades before, so this graveyard is quite old. Okay, and we're going to walk a little farther now, so if you'll just follow me. <laughs> Are you guys going anywhere? No? Okay. <laughs> I, was, I thought they were going to go somewhere. Typically when someone says, and now follow me, it tends to be, you know, who is this guy? Leave her alone. You got a problem? Hey, buddy. You got a problem? You could say that. I used to be a butcher before this bitch got a bug up her ass and started snooping around. People used to come from miles away to buy from me. I had more awards than the wall space to hang them. Then, her little boy goes missing, and I'm suddenly on death row? Call it a hunch, but I'm guessing you killed him. I never killed him. I never killed any of them. I left that up to my pigs. Oh. So you're just gonna haunt her for the rest of her life? Then what? Simple. I'm gonna ask her how her son tasted. Funny thing about pigs. Be surprised at how much their diet can affect their flavor. Oh. I hear there's a special place out there reserved for monsters just like you. Mm. Gee whiz, that got dark really fast. Oh yeah, and I saw it. it's got two speeds. I'm gonna I'm gonna work that into my stream. Maybe have it like uh maybe have it like uh like do a little jig somewhere in the corner. That'd be neat. Um so peaceful now. Some terrible things happen to these people. Yeah, needless to say. Why did so much sickness happen here? Oh, oh, there's a whole thing up there. Whoa, 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 camera's having a little trouble. Wonder if it's really haunted. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> Probably scandalous stuff they can't talk about. Although, I guess the butcher is talking about this woman because he's kind of, I guess, sort of looking in this direction. Looking at her and, and her, her boots. I don't know. The execution in this game sometimes make me makes me wonder. Oh, God, an heirloom? You mean, have I been missing those? Because I haven't seen any heirlooms other than that one. I hope I haven't been missing them. Because I don't know. Okay, I guess they're having a little tour. A serial killer is there. I like how he's mad. He, I didn't kill you when my pigs did. And I'm like, oh, semantics, you crazy, crazy, crazy person. Uh, okay. Main gate, Quarantine Ridge. You actually call the place Quarantine Ridge? Oh boy. Weird terrain for the cemetery. They're usually pretty flat. Yeah. Actually, that's a good point. This is very hilly. Very, very hilly and very, uh, not flat. But, you know, I, it's a lot of weird things about this place, and that, I guess that includes the, uh, the cemetery. Oh, good. Strap down beds. That's a good sign. Oh, hey. That's a bottle. Can I check out the bottle? Why would you put a bottle all the way out here if I can't check it out? Oh my god. It's like, it's so out of the way, too. You would think that's a clue. Up the stairs. Can I guess check out the plaque? Salem's History. Yellow Fever Memorial Plaque. Many brave workers from Salem who made the pneumonia. Or <laughs> the pneumonia canal, excuse me. The Panama Canal possible. Possible changing world commerce died in this facility from the dreaded yellow fever in 1904. The, the pandemonium. Oh, that's. Oh, that's hard to tell. See, like, it looks like 
That's a big ghosty place. Yeah, you can hear some banshee type people in there too. I like if you look closely. Can I zoom in here? Yeah, if you look closely, uh, uh, the build there's some some of the building like like l a lot of the building is ghost, but then like the bottom part, like the foundation stuff, is all real. So I think maybe this is like a half and half, but I guess since I'm a ghost, I'm seeing more of the ghost over. Oh, here we go. See a lot of it here. Um, I'm about to not have a good time, I don't think. Oh, good. Medical tools. <laughs> oh, man. Weird terrain for the cemetery. Oh, no, I read that. Uh. To triage? Oh, boy. Hi! How's it go? Wing. Oh, pfft. Dr. Trotter's findings. Okay. Oh, oh, it's a hand. Uh, whose hand is that? Whose hand is that? Ah, yes. That was just a sacrifice in the name of science. Oh, God. A flesh sacrifice? Sounds more like voodoo than science. Some may call it that. But they forget the true purpose of science. To understand the world around us and all the forces that govern it. Just because the research may be unsavory at times, doesn't mean we should turn a blind eye. Besides, now I've got plenty of specimens to work with. You experimented on these people? Oh, God. Most of them are as good as dead anyway. I save the ones I can. The rest... Are being put to good use. Those were people, not guinea pigs. You're right. Now, if you don't mind, I'm quite busy. Oh God, I think that's a. Uh, I'm gonna adjust something here on my side here, but that's the one thing I don't like about this universe or this concept of death and reality and stuff. Is that you know the really bad people? If they don't move on, man, they linger, and they do not deserve to linger. Let me tell you what. Am I not allowed to go out anymore? Okay. I am. It's just uh, it, there's a ghosty thing right there outside. Yeah, these bad guys deserve to go down to the bad place if there is one, like immediately if possible. Oh boy. You don't look old timey. Uh, what is this place? I think, um, yeah. So what was this place? I, I don't know. I heard them say it was some kind of field hospital or something. Please, get me out of here. It's not what they say it is. Not with him here. Who? Dr. Trotter. I, I, I don't understand. What do you mean this wasn't a hospital? What was it? Oh, God. A slaughterhouse. I, I wish I could help. I really do. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm in the same boat. Well, no, you could help Ronan. I mean, if you can help someone move on, they can actually get out of here and move on. But, uh, I don't know. I guess maybe her unique situation, she's unable to do it. What? Oh, I guess, yeah, this is all technically ghost. So I can't walk past that. Recovery. Oh, God. Oh boy. Uh, oh, hey there. Hey! Whoa! Look, I'm on your side. I just want to ask you a few questions. Slowly she turns, uh, step by step. Oh, oh come on! How can every friggin' ghost teleport but me? I'm gonna have to figure this shit out. I mean, who knows how long you're gonna be a ghost? You gotta figure it out somehow, right? Whoa! Holding the left mouse button displays destination marker, and you can move the mouse. Oh, -ho! I can do that. I can get to places, right? Whoa, -ho -ho! nice. Got an achievement, too. Hey, wait. Oh, my God. Ghosts can teleport through gaps and objects. 
Howdy ho! That's what I'm talking about! Now where'd you go? I need... Why can't you just talk to me? Why can't anything just be simple? I'm pretty sure this isn't the way to go. Hey guys, what's going on? Oh. Oh. You're dead already. Help! This one is getting delirious again. I'm afraid he's gonna have another seizure. But he's dead. Just comfort him as best you can. <coughs> His internal organs are failing. He doesn't have long now. <coughs> You're all dead. You're all kind of dead. Please. Help. Maybe it was so traumatic he's kind of stuck in that kind of loop, I guess. I don't know. Please. Help. None of us have very long. Oh. Okay, well then. New rose ta roses tattoo. Oh boy. Something I wasn't expecting, a new tattoo on Ronan. It's nice that this one isn't about crime or some violence. It's about me, in fact. Us, really. Two intertwined roses right over his heart. But I guess he's in the he's in this relationship for good. Kinda crazy he put it over the tattoo about his parents. I mean uh Parents can be a, a, a fickle thing. Also, look at the uh Check out the window. I never noticed that the the, the whole the thing that the window's doing because it's like bro, it's split in half. It's got two. It's doing two separate things. Interesting. Okay. Where am I going? All oh, right. Nope. Yep. I was gonna say at some point, Ronan had to learn some ghost-like abilities because he's a ghost. And it seems like he's going to be doing this for the long haul, so you may as well have some ghostly type help, you know? Gramophone. Medical journals. Mm, okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, hey. All right, 11 more to uncover that particular story. I hope I can figure this one out, seeing as I think I missed out on the last one. I need, oh, hey, hey, get back there. Observe. Fever remedies, okay. Shubles, can't absorb the shubles, no. Nope. This hey, whole lady. On, will ya? I guess that's a no. We're out of that place? Okay. I'm gonna investigate the village for a second. Alright, nothing dangerous at the moment. Okay. Oh my god! This is just wrong. No one should end up like this. I wish I could agree, but it's all my fault. I let people believe that I was something I'm not. They called me a war hero, but I was just a coward. For years, I'd retell gruesome war stories of how I crushed the enemy. Oh, no! But they were just lies I told in exchange for free drinks at the bar. I never saw any combat. Well, you pissed somebody off to get here. He was going to expose me for the fraud I was. So I tried to kill him. But he found out before you could do it. He has some buddies dragged me out here and left me to die. No one ever came looking for me. Too ashamed, I suppose. I don't be so hard on yourself. I've put away men a lot worse than you. Should I tell the kid? I'll take a vote on that. Do you think I should go back and tell the kid, see if there's anything different? I don't know if they thought that fully ahead. But this kind of game, I'll, uh, let me know what you guys think. Otherwise, I'm going to keep going forward. Oh, ho. Show me those stairs. Aha. Give me some of that heirloom. Heirloom. 
I wonder if I can do that on top of roofs. Oh, look at that. I can go on top of roofs. The roof, the roof, the roof has a Ronin. Okay. All right, let's keep going. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, oh, uh, okay, what's going on here? This is Traps the Ghost Trapper, and we are in Salem, Massachusetts. Oh boy. Now because of the scary history of this town, it's a hotbed for ghosts. Are some of the tortured souls, the screaming phantasms from this town's past, still haunting this graveyard? <laughs> screaming phantasms? Travis, don't you think that's a little over the top? Okay, cut. Dwayne, how many times have I told you, don't correct me on camera? But you can't say that on the show, man. People will laugh. Oh, hell. People come to the show for over the top. Okay, sorry. Just start again. All right, roll it. Oh, really? We're gonna Travis do... the Trapper here, and <laughs> you're in Salem. Now, as you know, since there's such a violent history of this place, there's likely to be a great deal of paranormal activity here. What? What was that? Definitely a paranormal event. What? I heard it too. There's what? some being. Some spirit. <laughs> Hello? Are you trying to communicate with us? Oh, Wait! Geez. It's over there now! Are you done? Okay. <laughs> uh, a, 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 a ploy or a, a pass on those... Uh... <laughs> oh, he's just laughing? Oh, boy. It would help if you knew what you Who actually watches this show? Well, I mean, enough people to have you have a show. Oh, uh, what a, what a, ah. Nobody's got the moonlight behind me. Uh, uh. Gotta sound more tough on this take. That's a weird microphone you got. Oh my god, that's not a microphone. That's a not PKE meter. It's an actual PKE meter. Like, uh, from Ghostbusters, that little meter that they have to measure ghosts, I didn't even realize that. Uh, the reason, uh, it actually looks like the ones that they had for the original 80s cartoon, the real Ghostbusters. It actually looks exactly like that. That's hilarious. And they have the, w the little wings down, so I guess they can just say like, oh, no, not it. That's not it. I always got the moonlight behind me. Alright, alright, get out of here. Get out of here. That's funny. Anything in here? Hello? Well, there have been ghosts in here before, but well, I guess none here now. Hello, anyone here? Oh, nope. Hey, anyone in here? Oh, hi. Oh, field trip gone wrong? What happened? Field trip gone wrong? No, no, no. Why'd you let the door shut behind you? Huh? What are you talking about? <clears throat> the door only opens from the outside. Now you're locked in here too. If I miss my classes or get caught trespassing, I could lose my scholarship. They need to let me out. Uh -oh. You mean that this isn't even yours? Of course not. It's starting to creep me out to tell the truth. This was just Kappa Delta Phi's idea of fun. I'm all for the tradition of hazing, but this has gone too far. Just try the door again, only this time really put your shoulder into it. Trust me, when you get out, Glasses will be the last thing you're thinking about. Oh, that is sad. Also, where's the body? Oh, boy. Oh, man. <laughs> this is nowhere near over. So many deaths, but likely many more yet to come. I can't help but believe this graveyard will only get more full. I mean, kind of... I mean, people die every day. It's yeah, the, the the whole with the guy back there, way too far. Uh, seriously. I mean, I know this isn't a super happy, fun time. Oh, let's investigate things. Ah, people happen to die. Oh well, you know, it's just. But holy crap, there are some very dark dealings here. <laughs> Joy's mother is afraid that the bell killer will strike many more times before he's caught. Yeah, I mean that's fair to say. I'm pretty sure he's not just gonna go
go on vacation for a minute. All right, to Monument Hill. Oh, hey, now that I learned that ability, there can be a few places within the city that I can go and have access to. Oh, that's gnarly. I knew there had to be something I could have done or learned in a future. Oh! Uh, right, um, <clears throat> oh boy, so how am I going to do this here? Like, they eventually, they eventually, uh, uh, go up to each other over there. This guy stops over here. See, the thing is that I don't want to, I don't want to try to get them from behind when they're all over here close to each other, because then what happens if the other one sees me? Then I'll just be breakfast. They'll be having a bit of breffy, and I'm gonna be on the menu. Okay, so let's see. Um, what can I do here? Oh, they're all huddled up together. It's a, at least it's the only three, three of them here. Oh, they're really close together. Oh. Whoa. Gotcha! Woo! <laughs> okay, one down. They didn't see me. Good enough. Crow's going berserk. Thank you, Ghost Crow. Ghost Crow, Ghost Crow, Ghost Crow. Okay, now how the hell am I supposed to make it by these guys without being seen. These are my only two hiding spots. I don't know why I'm, and I didn't mean to make the crow do that again. Over here, maybe? No, that's a negative. Oh, maybe I need to do a ghost jump to get past them. Yeah, I can do a ghost jump to get past them. Oh. Whoa, that was a mistake. Okay. So I can at least do a ghost jump. I can't go in here. Alright, alright. Gotta watch them for a second. Can maybe get that ghost down there when that guy's moving away. Yeah, I think I might be able to get him at that point, maybe. I'll have to be careful because then I'd have two of them chasing me, and that's not that's not very good. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. Okay. I can hide in the crypt, right? Oh. Oh, I can tackle this guy when he first goes away. Because the other guy afterwards is gonna is moving away also. So when he comes back and turns away, that's when I'm gonna get him. I don't need the crow. I wanna keep him up here. Why well, don't I wanna wait till the other guy doesn't face this way? Any minute now. Oh, he's moving way too soon. Uh crow! Whoa. Oh, come on, you're not. Uh, uh, yeah! Is the other guy gonna turn away? Yes! Gotcha! Whoa! Whoa. Okay. Alright. Alright. So now I can worry about that guy by himself. I mean, he's by himself, so I could just get him when he turns around. Just now. Easy does it. Easy does it. Hey! Oh. Uh, D. Oh. Hey, I'm still dead. I can't stay alive because I ain't alive no more. <laughs> I'm quite dead. All right. So safe so far. There's a bunch of hiding spots over there. Ooh. Hello. No, 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 
nothing? Okay. Yeah, nothing. Oh. <laughs> sure, it's cold out here. Yeah. Probably should have brought our warmer jackets. So, you think the witches can win the division this year? How can <laughs> witches? Oh, you mean our football team? Yeah, I think we stand a pretty good chance. You spend a lot of nights at practice. It must be nice to just have some nights to hang out. Yeah, it's nice. Sure is cold out here. Your jacket looks really warm. Yeah. <laughs> Really? You're not getting the message there, Chief? Oh my god. Glad she just wants to talk. Oh. It's nice that she's so interested in football. Oh boy. <laughs> What's a girl gotta do to get a little affection? He's giving you some signals, man! Jeez. I'm practically throwing myself at him. Oh. <laughs> Well, that's gonna take a little bit there. Sorry, guys. Salem's history, okay. Willem Pension, 1723 to 1789, the foremost chronicler of common daily life in this uncommon town. Okay. Whee! Did I go in here? Ooh, it's a crypt. Anywhere else I can go? Ooh, aw. Not much else here. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, that would have been places to hide too, wouldn't it? <laughs> it just occurred to me just now. Because they can't see you in real buildings. The the banshee ghosts can't. Wait a minute. Oh, what's back here? I didn't know this was a place. Actually, hang on. Did I want to go over here? Oh, those are two really active places I can go to. I don't want to go to one and then, like, all of a sudden miss out on the other. Can I see the... Is the girl that I'm chasing over here? I think she is. Is that her? I can't see beyond the fence. Because if not, I want to go to the other place first. Yeah, I think that's her. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and pick that up. And I'm gonna go the other way first, because I like making detours. I like exploring w everything that the game has to offer. Wait, weren't you guys just up there a second ago? What's you going know, on here? I'm pretty sure there are ghosts of witches right around this spot. Don't oh, worry, boy. little boy. I'll protect you. That works for me. Ha. Uh, and nothing here. Fair enough. Ah, good thing I came through here. Seems like a very short, very quick area. Aha! With more things to discover. Oh, and a wall. <laughs> I'm glad that they give you uh oh, oh. Wait, can I? No, I can't. <laughs> Invisible wall. I like how they give you ample places to go to and run when you anger the banshees. Especially because they can sense you and will keep looking for you until they get bored. Which, from what I can understand, can take a while. Alright, back onto the main road. Hey lady! Yep, that's her. Whoa, what's up here? Well, a place to hide. <laughs> A singular place to hide, really? Oh. What is that? There is death. And what comes after death? There is de Oh, well, it's what you said. Okay. Alright, fair enough. Okay, well, that was a nice detour, um, I guess. Ghostly in Prince. Ooh. Hey! God, you can say some press him a press him. I'll be right there. Rex on Ronan's record. I told Rex about what Ronan told me about the criminal past. 
He looked concerned, but not for my safety. He just knows how tough it is to put a, a life together after put a life together after building a rap sheet. Even if you're completely reformed, people don't give you a chance. Hearing this gave me a new sympathy for Ronan. He's working so hard to make a life for himself. I will have to think about this carefully. Okay, all right, giving us some insight on the relationship. Okay, that's a lot of tombstones that aren't here anymore. Got six more to go. Oh, she's standing next to the water. Yeah, I've got the, the, surely nothing bad will happen from here on out. <laughs> the fence is vibrating! Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to use that in a little bit, just not now. Uh, let's see, anywhere else? I'm just investigating, don't mind me. I mean, you dragged me out here all the way. Alright, two for one. I keep hearing those, like, monsters in the distance. You just can't see where they are. Graveyard history flag. The original graveyard was much smaller than it is today. Because of its proximity to the waterway, it has been used as a quarantine location twice in its history. Once for immigrants from England in 1665, who had developed the bubonic plague on their journey across from the Atlantic, and once for workers on the Panama Canal, who were sick with yellow fever in 1904. In both cases, the victims were housed near the graveyard, where they died in large numbers. Expanded it. A happy story. <laughs> Alright, let's see what your story is, kid. Finally stopped running away? Just stop. I'm on your side. I'm trying to figure out who killed you. Yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a cop. Was a cop, but... Oh, are you telling us that a cop did it? Oh, the rope. My God, you, you're not trying to escape me. You want me to see something. Figure out what Sophia's trying to tell you. Oh, I have a, oh, I have a bad feeling a cop did it. Rope. Rope for sure. A rope tied around the tree. No, that seems... What? Oh, you didn't let me read. Go focus on the rope, dang it. Or whatever this is. Okay, so it's not the rope. The crack. Oh yeah, that was a crack. Oh no! Bell killer. Yeah. Oh. The bell killer did murder Sophia. <laughs> Confirmation. All right. Why would he go to all this trouble to kill you this way? Yeah, seriously. Hey. It's okay. Oh. You can come out of the water now. It's okay. Come on. I'm on your side. Well, yeah, it will grab Sophia's arm, right? The killer used such strange chair contraption to drown Sophia. Yeah, take her arm. I don't know about any contract. Please. Oh. Just stop. The hell is this? Contract? What, what, what did he mean by contract? Touch her arm again, if anything, to make her feel better. <laughs> touch, touch it. No. no. This is the memory of your murder. You're Very too young. You shouldn't see this. No, I mean, just, she wants you to know, dude. Just take the hand. Take the arm. Come on. I'm doing it for you if you're not going to do it yourself. I don't know about any contract. Please, just stop. Why are you doing this to me? Who are you? Ah, oh, this what is going to be hard to watch if they do the whole thing, though. <laughs> It's symbol. Please, please yeah. Please, just... Oh boy. 
Oh, the, the chair did that. His symbol. It must have meant something. Oh. Oh! Oh, God! What happened? That was painful. What happened? I hope you remember that pattern running. I should get back to joy. Oh, good grief. All right. The bell killer drew his symbol on Sophia's arm. Sophia emphatically denied knowing about a mysterious contract. Did the bell killer ask her about this? I think so. Oh, that's a terrible way to. Ugh. Ugh, 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 ugh. Uh, is this way back? Because I'm going this way. Oh. <laughs> Aha! All right. Four more to go. Oh, boy. It's like the way the, the sound design goes, especially when you're, earing, uh, when you're wearing headphones. It's just hard to tell. When something's gonna happen or not. That's just the way it is. There's something here though. Smoking Ronin. <laughs> Those cancer sticks are going to drive Ronin to an early grave. I know it's something he enjoys, but I had to confront him today. I said, if you don't care about living into an old age with me, you'll give up those damn things. He said he'd given up plenty for me, and that should be enough. Not exactly the most sensitive reply, but Ronin is Ronin, and I think he never imagined he would grow to an old age, not with the life he lives. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. Still, though, I mean, come on, man. Love relationships are a two-way street, you know? We work things out. And besides, you know, li there's literally zero good that comes from smoking. I mean... It's been prettified in movies and in fiction and all that, but other than that, that stuff kills you. There's like zero benefits to smoking. Zero. Oh, by the way, Jim Harlock says, saw that you backed the 8OTS documentary. What level did you back? I'm debating on the crew. Oh, no, I was just retweeting, um, retweeting people that actually did donate. I want to, but right now I'm kind of unemployed, so I can't. So since I, uh, since I'm not able to back, I'm gonna do my best to make sure people know, cause G4 is was is has been and will always will be my, one of my favorite networks ever. And even though I didn't have a chance to enjoy it fully, um, I, uh, I for what it was and what it was trying to be before it uh, fell into the dark times, I'd like to call it. Um, I really love for what it tried to do and what it was, you know, you know, the, the whole thing, especially early on in its. Uh, in, in its employment or deployment rather so uh, yeah I was I'm just I'm gonna be regularly tweeting things out making sure people know about it and seeing if other people can contribute uh, I, if I do and if I ever do it it'll probably be like five bucks or something cuz you know I missed that station too and if you read my webcomic there's references to it all over the place the uh, one of the arcades there is called the G4 arcade and in fact uh, my dude here has a little G4 patch Ronin. I heard screams and it's good that you're okay. Hey. Well, I'm still dead. <laughs> oh, you found something. Yeah, I did. Bell killer drowned the girl in the lake, let her body float down river. My mother was right. This is a bell killer case. Did you find anything about my mom? Memory residue or something? Sorry, kid. And it's a good thing you didn't see what he did to the girl. This guy is sadistic one weird thing is that he, he confronted the girl about a contract before he offed her a contract I don't think I've seen anything uh, about a clue maybe oh, wait, wait I did another case possible bell killer survivor Iris Campbell 
diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia, incoherent ramblings about persecution, and a contract. Not again. And where does it say where she is? Um, it just says Lux Eterna. Is there a place? Yeah. Lux Eterna is a mental hospital. Of course it is. <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> okay, ready to go? Uh, actually, um, go on ahead. I, uh, I need to visit someone here. Don't go inside, oh. for God's sake. So I'll meet you at the hospital. Worst nightmare than this. Don't go inside. Wait outside. It isn't that... Oh, that was Julia's. Oh, by the way, I did notice, Harlock. I did. Thank you. It is adorable. We'll be here. Oh. Your timing is impeccable. punch with this game and then another oh, he's got a little less than an hour to go yes I did notice that you put it on the animation thank you that was actually uh, the G4 patch was uh, inspired by uh, one of the one of the shows there called portal before portal before uh, valves portal there was a show on G4 called portal about a guy who would overwatch who would basically be the person watching over all of the MMOs of the time and he would have a jumpsuit, and he'd have a little patch on his side that says G4 for the network. So I'm like, that's nice. I'm going to incorporate that because my avatar character here, I uh, when I um, when I go to conventions, I never know what to wear because I don't cosplay anymore. I used to be big on cosplay, but I really don't anymore. And I'm like, well, I, it feels weird just going in regular clothes. So the, the outfit that my avatar wears there is basically what I wear when I go to conventions. Um... I have to dig it out because I moved recently, but um, one says my name on one side and the other says the convention I'm at and at the bottom it says if I'm staffing or not because I staff at a bunch of conventions and that inspiration was taken from a show called Eureka from the sci-fi channel. There's a character on there named Henry and he basically has the same thing going on. He basically has a uh, he has his name Henry on one side and then on the other side Velcro with patches on uh, uh, with uh, with the patches on it and he would switch that around because he would do everything in town. So he'd switch it out, be the mechanic, be the mayor, you know, be the forensics officer. I just thought it was a neat idea. And then uh, if you're wondering on the other side, it just says it's just the New Jersey patch since that's where I was born. Um, right. We still got a bit to go. So let's do that. Investigate possible bell killer survivor at the asylum. Oh boy, there might have been a there might have been a bell killer attack survivor. She might know something. Oh, oh, is that place still like alive? It's still got stuff going on. Oh joy. No oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Get to the Lux Mental Hospital. Oh wait, there's some places I can get to now that I could before. Like this one over here. Wait, did we miss anything over there in in the cemetery? I'm gonna go back to the cemetery. Now that it actually lets me go. Don't pause it. I was trying to skip the. I'm trying to skip it so I can actually get to it faster, 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 faster. Cause I'm missing one. How many am I missing? I can't check right now. Oh my god. Let's go. Yes, it's the cemetery. Spooky, scary. Okay. How do I? There we go. Uh, ghost stories. I've only got one. Oh, come on. Okay. So that one, that was in the church back. No, this was the church thing. Oh, I'm missing one. So I'm missing three. All right. So now that I have that ability, 
Let's go around and see if I missed anything. I want I want another scary story, dang it. Can I go across here somewhere? That's a negative. Okay, fair enough. Anything in here? Nope. Da, 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 da. What is that? What is that? Did you guys see that? Look at that. It's like a ghosty, ghosty type thing. Can I get there? Whoa! Nope. It's like an imprint of some sort. Some like bad juju ghost or something in the distance. That's weird. Okay, I'm just looking for heirlooms real quick. Just gonna give this a quick once over because I want to know at least one I, that I'm able to find hidden stuff in a game a little bit. Anywhere there? Can I zoom, 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 zoom? Nope. Can I zoom, zoom up here? Oh, actually, hang on a sec. Walk around, walk around, walk around. If I can't find it on one more once over, on this once over here, I'm just gonna keep going. Because I know this doesn't make for good gameplay footage. <laughs> Aha! Oh, that's a crawl. <laughs> that doesn't help my plight at all. And I can also talk to this guy, let him know that the, uh, Come you still. man. It can't be that hard. Hey, you guys still can't get in. Hey, can I talk to you? Oh, the game doesn't even let me talk to him. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, it looks like I don't get to tell you. Fair enough. Oh, hey! Ah! Nothing in here. Nothing in there. Interesting. Okay, so this is definitely an area I wasn't able to access before. Did they put any foresight in this? Did they expect anyone to back? Ha! They did! Yeah, I knew that. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Although, I think I went the roundabout way. Because apparently I could have just went through here and saw it. But, you know. You know me. I never take... If I'm presented a journey, I hardly take the straight line. I always go every which other way. That's just how I be. Whee. And I can just jump over here. Woo. Alright, cool. Uh, let's see. You noticed... Oh, wait a minute. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. We talked to you. You're upset about your tombstone. I'm sorry. I got two more to find. Two more to find. Just two more. Here we are. Pardon me, butcher man. Two more, two more. Two more to find. I'm inside a tree. Two more to find. Oh, good. Not interested. Whoa. Go up there. Nope. All right. Happened a few. Oh, now they're just talking about this whole thing there. I've been there. I've been everywhere now. I've been everywhere. I've been everywhere. Can I go down here? I've been everywhere. Oh, I can. I'm da da da. Oh, okay. I'm not stuck. I've been everywhere, where are you? I've been everywhere, where? I've been looking for hidden items. I've been everywhere, where? Come on. I found one. I found one thing that I didn't find before. So that's that's something, right? I remember one was over here in the corner of the bed, so maybe they don't have another one over here, which is understandable. They don't want to put too many in one spot. Oh, 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 oh. Did I know about this? I didn't know about this. Ooh. I was too busy chasing the go- Oh, I did. I did know about that. Dang, nabbit. <laughs> I think it's because I got there in a different way. Oh, uh, speaking of which, let me go that way and make sure I didn't miss anything. I already did that. Oh, hey, hey, I didn't. Oh, did I? No, I, I did. I did. Anywhere here, maybe? Question mark? 
what about here? Whoa. Whoa. Was I here before? Whoa, I don't think so. Yep, I was not here. New justice tattoo. <laughs> oh, we're getting everything about uh, about uh, her thoughts. Another tattoo on his back. Another woman, but unfortunate. But fortunately, <laughs> only an abstract one. Lady Justice with the scales, but without the blindfold. I asked him what it meant, and for the first time, he said he didn't want to talk about it. I I could only guess that he had some traumatic justice isn't blind moment. Maybe he'll open up later. I hope he I hope he did uh, eventually. Opening up about things and talking about things is very important. Communication in any given relationship whatsoever is important. And there's no heirloom. Really? Come on, this would have been a perfect spot for an heirloom. I mean, it's nice we get a little more information about Ronan and, and Ronan's wife, but no. Oh. Fine. Oh, wait, the other side. Ha! The other side of Liverpool, you know it's true. That's a Ringo song. It's a Ringo Star song. Nothing. Oh, except for the guy downstairs. Uh huh. I hopped over here. Hey, where did I go from here? I think it automatically made me go outside. Because I remember chasing her around here. And I don't remember what happened. Uh, I think that's it. Yep, that's it. Whee! Alright, go outside. I, did, I don't think I searched the, this place as much. I don't think. Ooh. Yeah, the town, I don't think I did much searching. There's the guy's head. Oh, buried alive, eh? Whoop! <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Can I go behind the desk? Oh, not nothing! Hey! I need one more to uncover the story. <gasps> Maybe I can go back to the beach and get that one. Because there, the, there's only one place I didn't go in the church. And that was uh, the attic that was being blocked. Not the attic, but, you know, the stairway to upstairs. There was a place up there that I wasn't able to get to. And I'm wondering if, by any chance, by going up there to that seemingly inaccessible area... Would I? Would, would there be a saw up there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You never know. Okay. For people who like to get everything in a game, like uh, stuff, like uh, hidden items and stuff like that, I would say this, this that's a pretty good element to add as to trying to get add more replayability on something. That is that is good. That is fair. This is traps and ghost traps. We are in Salem, Massachusetts. Travis now because of the scary history of this town, it's a hotbed for ghosts. Is there anything on those roofs? Am I missing one again? I'm missing one again. Okay. Okay. There's gotta. Come on now. I have. I can get to places Travis. I haven't been able to get before. I should definitely be able to like uh, find it somewhere. Somewhere. It's got to be somewhere here. Okay, let's see here. Nothing there, nothing there. Nothing here, nothing there. I was spooked in trying to survive this general area for a while, so... Maybe I didn't look at things closely, maybe. I'm just guessing here. Oh. Nothing in here. I did establish that I can go inside of the, uh, these uh, crypts here. Uh, nope. What about down here? Ah! 
Ah, I'm stuck. Nope. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, right. The the people up there. Dum 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 dum. I just need one to go. Just have one. I have one left. Whoop. Anywhere on the floor, maybe. Hello. There's some stuff on the floor. Hmm. Are these tours cold out here? Oh, they're just yeah, gonna repeat. Nah, I don't wanna watch that train wreck. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Oh wait, up here? Nah, it's a crow. Oh god. Wait! Oh! Ah! I didn't even see this one! There was one that right out there! Nice! Let's check out this story! I've always been a kleptomania. It's not that I was lazy or anything, I was just... bored. Stolen goods were always more interesting to me. I could just look at whatever it was and relive the exciting memory of the theft itself. Sometimes I was worried that I'd get caught. Other times I was riding an adrenaline rush. But it wasn't until the last thing I ever stole that I truly felt afraid. I remember it like it was yesterday, despite the years I've been trying to forget it. My friends and I snuck into a graveyard to drink a few beers like we normally did on a boring weeknight. We headed for our usual spot, an old run-down mausoleum. Only this time it was locked. It seemed someone had finally taken an interest in the dead guy it belonged to and didn't appreciate us partying there. So we split up and went looking for a new place. Finally, I found another mausoleum. One of its walls had begun to crumble away, but I squeezed through. The inside looked the same as all the others, except for one thing. Lying there on top of the central tomb was a dusty frame that contained a wreath made of elaborately braided rope. Knowing that antiques were valuable, I took it. I figured I'd wait a week before selling it in case anyone reported it stolen. So when I got home, I hid it at the top of my closet and went to sleep. That night, I had horrible nightmares of a dead faced hag with rotting flesh. No matter how many times I woke up, she always found her way back into my dreams. Over the next few days, the nightmares got worse. I'd wake up only to find clumps of my hair missing and my scalp bleeding. I chalked it up to stress and feelings of guilt about stealing from the graveyard. So the next day I went to a pawn shop to sell the wreath and be done with it. I could feel a shiver run down my spine when the pawnbroker informed me that the wreath wasn't made from a rope at all. It was actually made from the human hair of a deceased loved one, as was customary in the late 1800s. I wanted the nightmares to stop, so I sold it to her. Unfortunately, it didn't work that way. Now, I spend my time trying to track it down, hoping to return it so I can finally get some sleep. Yikes! <laughs> wow, okay. Yeah, don't, uh, don't steal next time. Oh boy. 
All right, um, ah, Tail6 says, you know, I get why in the game mechanic terms, but I don't understand why the crypts wouldn't be blessed in fictional terms. That's a good question. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, uh, hmm. Uh, yeah, that's a very good question. I, I don't know. I don't know. Probably, uh, you know, in all honesty, in a game designing choice, they probably are just cutting us some slack. And giving us some extra cover without really going into it, really. I mean, that's the only thing I can figure. Alright, we're gonna get out of here. And then we're gonna... Is there a quick way to get out of here? Is there a map or something? Nope. Yeah, we're just gonna have to huff it. It's not that far. It's just, you know, a minor inconvenience. Wait, whoops. Oh, double whoops. <laughs> Then again, I don't have very good a, uh, a sense of direction, so this might take a while. But we're dead, so we can get away with jumping off of high places like this one! And not worry about getting killed. Because, lo and behold, I don't know if you noticed, we're dead. <laughs> Whoa! The game's trying to catch up with loading everything. It's like, no! You're not supposed to load that fast! Wait, what? Oh, right. <laughs> Where am I going? Luck, good luck, boys. Have fun. I've been over a war now. I've been over a war. Yet do 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 do. I've been over with. Oh no. <laughs> been where? I pressed the wrong button there. Apologies. All right. Now I'm happy that I've, I've at least been able to find one other thing. That's all I've been. That's all I wanted to do. One other story. Half tempted to go back to the church at some point and get the other story. Maybe on my next stream I can um, I can do a head start, fire it up, get to the church and find the last saw and then um, have it ready to go next stream. That way we can share in another spooky scary story together. So Ashland Hill Cemetery. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, and uh, uh, my, uh, I had a question too, in general, for those of you who are here with me while I make my way across town. Um, I, uh, I've decided to get, uh, to, uh, resume the editing of at least one more review video because, uh, in my other, in my main YouTube channel, um, I used to dabble in those. And I got a lot of free time now, and I figure I may as well dedicate into at least finishing one that I, uh... Ooh, one more. Uh, at least finishing, uh, one more that I recorded all of the footage, and I recorded all of the, all of the dialogue. I just have to put it together. Uh, it just kind of fell off my radar. While I put it together, because it's going to be a while, I'm wondering if anyone's interested in watching the process of me putting it together. It's nothing fancy or anything. It's just, you know, me putting things together, listening to... Audio levels, making sure they're leveled out and everything. Oh, that's scary. That thumbnail right there. Um, just, uh, yeah, it's just, it would just be me putting it together and, you know, talking and hanging out and stuff like that. I was wondering if anyone would be interested in doing that. I don't know if I will ever actually do that, but if and uh, just wanted to throw that out as an idea. Now, spooky scary time! I've seen them by the side of the road. Oh, Jesus! These unkept smudged hopeless people holding cardboard signs um uh, huh. sometimes they have props baby stroller a pet gasoline can <sighs> something to lend credence to the thin fiction that they need money for something other than booze uh. it was um it was a man with a need gas sign with the red gas can on the ground that i saw when i drove into salem six unlucky years ago today Huh? Tried to ignore him, not making eye contact, but I was stuck at a red light and pretending he wasn't there was getting really awkward. So I reached into my pocket and pulled out two dollars, rolling down my window just a crack. Oh, geez. Here you go, buddy. I pushed the money through the, the opening of the window. That was when, for the first time, I really looked at his face, mm. or what was left of his face. It was a single eyeball just looking back at me, bulging out of a charred skull. 
I was absolutely frozen in terror until the blackened shape of uncovered finger bones reached out to take the money. And that's when I let it fall to the ground and slammed on the accelerator. I didn't even care that the light was red. <laughs> in the time since then, I've picked up pieces of the legend. A shell-shocked war veteran, unemployable and alcoholic, became a familiar sight in Salem, begging by the roadside. Citizens stopped giving him money, thinking he would just move on to a bigger city. Oh, oh. He responded by creating one of the most traumatic spectacles in town history. Oh, boy. Setting himself alight in the middle of town during evening rush hour. Uh. Ever since that roadside encounter, I've been seeing little wisps of flame out of the corner of my eye. Like, brief flashes that are gone as soon as I turn my head. Sending nauseated chills through my whole body. Is this tormented spirit following me now? Whether he intends it as a blessing or a curse, I just want to be as far as possible from this horrifying specter. Oh, man. Okay, well, it's all right. Okay. Boy, am I glad I went through that. Okay. Well, we still got about 20 or so minutes to go. Let's go to the Luxor. Uh, a Eternia, or whatever the heck is called, to go to the crazy people play. Uh, the whatever you know, the asylum, cause that just seems like a good idea all around. Oh, this is such a bad idea. I mean, I don't have much of a choice. Yes, let's go. So ghosty. Yes, tailstick. So ghosty. Mental hospitals. One place torture is considered for your own good. If their experiments ever succeed in restoring a person's sanity, they better hope it was at the expense of the person's memory. Good, you waited outside. Ready? Relax, we're out of the graveyard. And into crazy town? A big improvement. People who see things nobody else can see end up living here. Not that crazy. Come on. Okay. I'll help you get inside, but... But what? Look, if we're gonna ask this girl, Iris, about this contract, the asking needs to be done by a living person, right? Just remember who opens the door for you, tough guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like I like their dynamic. Oh god. All right, kid. You're up. I just find a way to get Iris's room number. You can do it. Um, hi. I need your help. I'm looking for a friend. Visiting hours are over. Right. But but she was with the cops. Then go talk to the cops. Oh boy. See, I, I did, and, and they said that she was a danger to herself, and I can't help you. All right. We just need to stall her, okay? We have to figure out what her weaknesses are. Maybe these things on her desk will help us. What would make the receptionist help Joy? All right, let's find out. Visitation severely limited. The visitation schedule here seems strict and definitely favors family and doctors. Okay, fair enough. Uh, inspect. Uh, young boy on crutches. Oh, <laughs> a young boy on crutches. This receptionist must be close to him. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, er, uh, ah. Oh, hey. He's most likely a man of imposing size and stature. Someone who's accustomed to violence. Heinous acts in his past define him to the point where he no longer knows who he truly is. Yikes. Joy's mother believes the killer suffers from delusions, which are far beyond most people with severe clinical diagnosed psychi psychiatric issues. No, boy. So not only is he crazy, he's super crazy. 
Hey, dinosaur. A get well gift, but from who? Must be a gift from someone's someone who's sick or injured. Uh, I almost found all of the clues, and I don't know if I could if I found anything useful. Oh, well, what's possessor? Influence. Uh, what would make the rece Well, I would say photo of the boy, possibly. Wondering if you're okay. You're all I have left. Oh. Just like this girl's friend is all she has left. Sorry. I know how hard it can be when someone depends on you. What's your friend's name? Iris. Uh, Iris Campbell. Yes. It looks like your friend Iris is here. Everything's gonna be okay. Thanks. I, I feel better. Hi, kid. I got this. Just need to get my eyes on her computer screen. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, I think her. <laughs> Very subtle. She, there's no way she saw you do that. Oh, okay. Where is Iris being held? View. Oh, wait. Oh, right, right. I gotta select. Electroshock therapy scheduled for tonight. Orderlies en route. Paranoia, schizophrenia, delusions, hallucinations. Oh my god, do they... Actually, serious question, guys. Do you know if, like, in modern times, is electroshock therapy still done? I mean, I could look this up, but I, I got this pulled up. And if so, that's... I don't know. Has that ever even been proven to help anything at all? Found a room. You think so, Harlock? She's in room Ugh. 216. We gotta find it quick, Joy. She's scheduled for electroshock. Iris is in room 216 in the high security ward and scheduled for shock treatments very soon. Okay, well, I'm deeply concerned and it's half the reason why is because she shares the name of a character of mine that I have for my comic. A bizarre death at Lux at Eternia Mental Hospital in Salem may be connected to a string of murders throughout the town. <clears throat> a source uh, confirms that a female mental patient was found dead strangled with a cloth bathrobe belt. It might be the first of the recent murders to be committed in such a secure area. It means no one is safe anywhere, said a terrified woman who had spoken directly to a witness. I heard there were all kinds of drawings on the wall of her cell, and that, be and that bell symbol might have been there. I'm sure it was him. That's not good. Harlock says yes a bit, because it might... Uh, it might redo some of your brain synopsis. Really? Tailstick says it is still used, but much less frequently than it used to be. I don't know, man. I ain't no doctor, but it just feels like that doesn't really help. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, oh, good. Straight jackets. Oh, good. There's going to be a story about this place. I don't know. It's just uh, Dr. Wright's patient files. I don't even know who that is. Yeah, but anyway. Um, yeah, I don't know. It just doesn't feel like it's... All right, kid. Coast is clear. <laughs> For you, maybe. Tabloid article number three. No one has has been able to solve the mystery of the bell killer in Salem. Not even the mystery of the symbol itself. Since there seems to be no bell at that at the scene of the crime, could it be that the killer is leaving an autograph of sorts? A statement of identity? If it has to do with his origins, the logical conclusion would be that the killer originally hails from Philadelphia, another si rich city hit in history, and home of the famous Bell in America. But are police willing to consider this bold approach if it means solving the case and saving dozens of lives? I don't know. Don't ask me. Wait, where'd you go? Well, at least I know I can hop around it, but I don't really need to. <laughs> I like how it's just randomly there. Whoa! I'll be right there. I'm just gonna look at things. Oh, so many news articles in this place. Following a strident editorial on these very pages that question the ability of the Salem Police Department to com to competently investigate the Bell Killer case, Lead Investigator Lieutenant Javier Rex Reyes announced that six additional officers are being assigned exclusively to the case. While unavailable for direct comment, Reyes was quoted in a recent SPD press release in saying, 
In a department of this size, the rep th uh, this represents an enormously significant shift of resources, which should reassure citizens of the gravity of this case and our resolve to bring it to a conclusion. Okay. Fair enough. Let me read the plaque. Abed. Oh. Well, it won't see me. <laughs> ah, Spanish Flu Memorial Plaque. Dedicated to the victims of the great Spanish influenza epidemic unleashed within this war in 1918. May their souls find the peace they were denied in life. Okay, okay, I'll be right there. Whoop. Straight jacket right up in here. Anything in here? Nope. All right, all right, all right. Wait, why did he even put it there? Just to have it there? All right, you stay here. I'll check it out. Women's ward. I guess the other side is the men's ward? It is, actually, yeah. Huh. Okay, women's ward. Whoop. There is someone on their knees over there. Oh. Altergeist! Iris is due for shock therapy in 15 minutes. Like, fry your brain shock therapy? Oh, shit. Oh, shit is right. Let's get moving. Oh. Hospital support. Ronan was so good to come along. I know it's been hard for him, dealing with my mood swings. I think there's something serious going on in my head, and I know he suffers the consequences along with me. But to be so supportive, to be my rock, that takes a real man. I will get through this. I will make. The, I, will, bleh. I will make this all worth, uh, all worth the struggle. I can read. I swear I can. All right, who are you? What's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, all right. Another camera. Get on it. I'm down already. Got that. Uh, where's the camera? Uh, let's see. Poltergeist! Poltergeist! Oh gosh. Poltergeist! It did it in the wrong order. Oh, this isn't spooky scary at all. Hey, uh, you you're kind camera? Yeah, you're kind of sticking Not out as too. as invisible as you held me out. <laughs> I think you need to get on the other side of the wall. You'll be fine. Oh, God. Wait, is this Iris? I forgot what room this is. The bug's crawling up the wall. We can't get anyone to spray them. I'm not going to try to squash them again. All the blind people put the restraints on me. <laughs> can't believe they put them on me. Just because they can't see the bugs? Just checking stuff out here. Oh boy. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. Oh, this is gonna be great. Uh, oh, right. Uh, Poltergeist! Poltergeist! I poltergeist. I poltergeist. Go, 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 go. I poltergeist. The thing to understand about Mrs. Gwynn is that her father used to become violently angry when she would walk in front of the TV during sporting events. I, um, I, I don't see what that has to do with... Any kind of anger, but particularly male anger, is really a trigger point for her. So I realize that dealing with patients can be a frustrating business, especially when they are on medication, and they're less responsive. But you have to be careful. But she gets all, I don't know, crazy. Yeah. Look around you. That's actually nice. I like that they have someone sort of like uh, you know, saying, "Hey, they're not well, <laughs> you know." My great work will begin soon. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, I don't want to know more about that. Um, oh. Uh, more tabloid articles. In a shocking new discovery, our staff has found compelling evidence that recent brutal murders in Salem repeat another unsolving killing spree from 1972 to 73. Like the current spree, the killings were all unconventional, bizarre, and unsolved, and they all bore the mark of a bell. Not as prominently as recent murders, but definitely a similar signature style mark. 
While Salem police are were unwilling to comment on any relationship to their cold case file, the evidence is overwhelming that a serial killer has returned to Salem to wreak a new reign of terror, or a copycat killer has done his research. I don't know. 70s? If this is in, pre in, in, uh, in the present... Uh in present time, that seems to be quite a bit of a gap in time. Whoa. Anybody in here? Oh, hey. Oh, boy. A couple more for that story. Enough of this. Preachy doctor. Pills, knives. Going to my cabin. Right now. Please don't do anything crazy. Why is it called antifreeze if it stops overheating? Okay. Mice can slip under doors, little cracks. It's all just concentration, discipline. I have time to practice. Okay. We all right. What is this? Now, there's a hiding spot in the showers. Really? I ain't going in there. I have principle. Oh yeah, I can't go through there, Joy. Help. I heard something back there. Uh, yeah, Joy, I need some help. Am I talking to you, or what, what, what's going on? You're up again, kid. I need to possess you to get past this crap. No, I don't. I oh. can just hop over. Oh, I hate that. Or you can just go on. I'm totally alone in here. Oh, it doesn't let me. You know what these hands are? Lost souls, I guess. Just seems like the opposite of moving on. Or at least the opposite of moving on you're trying to do. <laughs> I hope I didn't cut the conversation short. I just got out of her because I figured, you know, oh no. She doesn't like it when I possess her, so I'm trying to respect her boundaries. Was I not supposed to do that? Oh, okay. No, 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 no. What do we do? What? All right, what? keep going. Get to Iris's room. What? No, no. We stick together. Joy, we don't have a choice. Now, I'll meet you there as soon as I figure out a way around this. Go! That's an entire wall. Oh, that poor girl. Who did she hear back here? Who's back here? I can't even go there. Oh, boy. Okay, how am I supposed to get around this thing? Walk the wall? No. Ugh. Oh, wait, what is this? Sealed. Oh, let's see. For violations of Massachusetts Health and Safety Code and or Salem Code. It's a health violation back here. Oh my god, it's an entire wing. Oh my god, it's an entire wing. Oh no, it's an entire wing we have to walk through. Oh no. Oh no. Ugh. Oh no. Okay, what do you guys say? I'm hit two hours. I can stop it now or I can stop at the next checkpoint. What do you guys think? I'm willing to do either or. <laughs> You're not excited about, about this at all. I don't know what I'm worried about. I'm dead already. But then again, because of the demon people, I can be deader than dead. So, that's a thing. Next checkpoint. All right. I got one for the next checkpoint. I can do it. Yeah, sure. Sure. <laughs> okay. Oh no. I'm a big detective. Can I get up there by any chance? Oh, wow, it really doesn't want me to go up there. Ah! Oh, oh god. Oh god, no! Gotta be careful where I step. <laughs> okay, wow, well, that scared the. Whew, okay. Uh, I can't get that close, apparently. What I can do is use these to get by. Oh boy, okay. Alright. Kitty! Hold on. Let me hop over here first. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, kitty! Oh. One stone here. Oh, I knew it. Three more straight 
jackets to go. It's just a straight up empty section down here. Kitty, 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 kitty. All right, let's go. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh. Hey, kitty, that's lunch. Dead rat. <laughs> Oh boy. That's a skull. That's an entire skull. Oh, oh, oh good. Oh good. Man, now I know now I know how, how a microwave dinner feels like. Okay, hopping on down, kitty. Just go. Nope. <laughs> I wish they'd stop doing that already. Oh god. Can I depossess? I can't depossess here. Can I at least find it down here? Okay. Oh Jesus. Yeah, I don't know. There was just a human skull in there. Maybe John McClane didn't succeed. <laughs> then again, what, do, what would he even be doing here? Oh boy. Careful, kitty. I don't know if you can get eight, but I don't. I also don't want to find out whether or not you can get eight. Man, this is a big. This is a big place we can explore. All right. So how am I gonna get down there? Action, kitty. Action, kitty. Oh yeah. Here we go. Thank you, Sergeant Meow Meow. Oh boy. So this is just a straight up lockup, huh? Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Oh my god. Oh boy. Oh, <laughs> holding me breath. Watch their patterns for a moment and then see if I can exercise them. Okay, when he comes back and turns around to head the opposite way, I'll try to head him then. Shouldn't have anyone looking in his direction at that point. Keyword shouldn't. So I got caught by the one of the other ones. So you can possess people but not control them, but you can control cats. Tailsteak says. Can you control people who are wearing cat ears? Yeah, I don't know. I never investigated whether or not I can catch the uh catch a Neko, a Nico. Oh man, the uh who Checkpoints are not forgiving here, are they? Do I have to rediscover the thing I found here? Nope. Okay. So it remembers what I found. So let's try that again. Pardon me, Monsieur Kitty. Cat. I'm a kitty cat. And a dance and dance and a dance and dance. Cat. I'm a kitty cat. And a dance and dance and a dance and dance. Cat. I'm a kitty cat. And a dance and dance. Oh. And a dance and oh. And a dance and dance and a dance and dance. Wee. Yeah, I see those. I can't hop anywhere. I can't hop down to anywhere. Oh, I can? No, I can't. That's the only place I can hop down in, and I can't just snake on by a, as the cat. I think that'd be too easy. Yeah, that's the only place I can get down from. I got ghosted. 
Yes, tail stick. That is the goal for me not to die. Thank you. So the other guy can definitely see. We try it backwards. Maybe try to get the other guy on the other side instead. Uh, aren't you afraid of that of being here, ghost person? Those things can eat you, you know. Those parts. Those parts aren't me. Where am I? Do, do you work here? Show some mercy. I think the game Gosh, glitched. I'm sorry. Oh. sorry, buddy boy. Though you should be worried about those things that are right there. Perfect. I don't think the other ghost can see around that wall. So as soon as he comes in, as soon as he poops to go around, we're going to go around and try to exercise him. Go. No, 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 no. All right, good, 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 good. Great, excellent. All right, so get this guy next. That's right in front of us. He stands there for a while. Watch him. For the other one to go away and not care. Go. Oh boy. Oh, I'll only wait a second. Okay, so there's a second motion for ghost number two over there before he goes away big time. We're gonna wait for that. So this guy here is just sort of chilling like a villain, and he's gonna poof, and they're both gonna go that way. Then this guy over here is going to go the opposite way. We're going to wait for him to do that. Shit. Shit, 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 shit! Oh, no, I did out! Oh! Ah! Oh! That didn't go according to plan. We're good, we're fine, we're good, we're fine. Those two are too close together. They are way too close together. Because, uh, oh, hey, Harlock. <laughs> Thanks for hosting. Although I think if I get to the next checkpoint, that's going to be it for me. My poor little heart can't take too much more. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, let's see. Maybe I should take the other guy instead. It's just these two get intertwined too easy. Like they'll start heading for each other. Yeah, cause see, look, there's nothing but open space. Just watching to see what's a good in, or maybe I should just not worry about it and just keep going. I've been I've been exercising them all, um, the, the last couple of levels, and no crows. Yeah, no. Well, there's a single crow down there. There's a crow. Uh. But I don't know if I can get to that crow. <sighs> okay, I don't. Yeah, okay, they can't see me when I'm hiding. How can I get that crow to crow without them seeing me? Can 
I get it to curl from here? I can't get it to curl from here. How much more closer do I get to get to that crow? The one crow in this level and I can't get to it. Do I have to like run up to the crow and then like quickly run away again? Is that is that what we're doing now? We're playing tag with the demons that might kill us twice over? I managed to kill one. I'd really hate to like die and have to kill all three again. Well, if that happens, I'm going to see if I can just run. Oh, they can't see through the wall, right? They can't see through the wall, right? Oh, boy. Okay. Oh. Yeah, distract him, distract him. Oh, yeah. Waiting for the other guy to turn around and leave. Waiting for the other guy to turn around and leave. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we go. One more to go. I'm a brave boy. I'm a brave boy. I'm a brave boy. <sighs> okay. That was extremely distressing. But we did it. Hooray. <laughs> oh, what is that? What is that? Oh, this is just I feel. Oh, I'm pooped. I am very tired. Woo! It's a drawing of a demon, I know. Jeez. There's some hearts floating up in here. A full restraint. You know, because nothing but good things have come because of those things. Can Oogie Boogie pass those? Straight up crates? That's that's good. That's great. Great. I could have hit in here. <laughs> Never got that far. I did not get that far. Of course, an observing, an observing thing Emma wants. It's of course. Some chairs used to be here that aren't anymore. They're ghost chairs. What is this doing here? <laughs> I asked Rex what he thought about Ronan's proposal. He just gave me a big smile. He's always liked Ronan. I think he was just surprised the guy would do something as conventional as and respectable as proposed marriage. But he took it as a good sign. I think I should too. A little niceness and all of this grimness. I'll take it. I'll gladly take that. Oh man. How do I know when I get to a checkpoint anyway? Is this a checkpoint? Okay, well I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going until I see a little circle in the lower right corner and then I'll stop. <laughs> Cause there's no way I wanna stop and have to do this part again. Ah yes! Surgical Instruction Theater Dedication Plaque. Knowledge is nothing if not passed to new generations. May this instructional theater, constructed in 1899, pass the wisdom of learned doctors to future generations. Okay. Uh, Tailsig says you're not the only one who can Banksy up the place. No, apparently not. Apparently not. And I can't get through here. Can I walk through the wall at least? How am I supp- Oh yeah. Whoa. Hey, hey, hey. I'm not back where I started. Oh, I'm right. Okay, I'm on the other side, right? I'm on the other side, right? Yeah, because the other side was on, on the right side. Okay, yeah. 
<laughs> I'd be so mad. Welcome to where you started. I would have been done. Hey, Joy, you're right there. Joy, are you hey, a checkpoint? Me. Did you forget about me? I had some trouble. I had, I don't know if you, as a ghost, I had a lot of trouble. Can I talk to you? What, what am I doing? Oh, oh. Oh, good. To be held in the harsh light is to be held to account. That's very nice, Wednesday Adams. I want to make sure to remember that. Okay. Oh, Turgeist. Oh, Turgeist. What else you got? You need me to poltergeist for you? Uh, probably the door. Oh, no. Found her. I better find Joy and get her here. Oh, hey, she's here. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I don't know if they would it'd be wise to leave all that medication and stuff. Oh no, those are crayons, okay. Alright, Joy. Open the door for you here. Poltergeist! And 216 right there. Oh. Let me just investigate over here real quick. News Article 5. In the Salem Police Department news briefing yesterday, department spokesperson Ingrid Larson confirmed that there has been no suspect, suspect arrested and that there are no new leads in the case. While we urge the citizens of Salem to be calm and to carry on with their normal lives, said Detective Larson, we also encourage people to come forward with any evidence that might be helpful in this case. It's up to all of us to work together and keep the community safe. Okay. Let's into... Oh, hey, the last one! Okay, I, it, did it save? Did it save? Um, okay, so let's do the yeah. Let's do the let's do the spooky scary story because I'm gonna forget tomorrow. Let's do the spooky scary story. We're gonna talk to Iris and then we'll call it a we'll call it a night. Uh, where is the uh, ah? Here it is. Uh, Eternal flame. Nope. Here it is. Man in the box. Here we go. I've. Uh... I've had a long career working as a state inspector for the Department of Mental Health. During that time, I've been to a lot of institutions, and I have seen a lot of horrible things. But um, nothing even comes close to the evil events that I witnessed at Fairhaven Sanitarium, the place they now call Lux Eterna. I first arrived in um, 1926 to investigate claims of overcrowding and neglect. However, Fairhaven's reputation was tainted long before that. In 1911, Fairhaven opened its doors for the first time. A notoriously violent criminal by the name of Jack Yates was the hospital's first patient. He was to be the, uh, the, the shining example of the hospital's ability to cure the mentally deranged. However, when the superintendent's family was visiting one day, Yates broke free from his restraints and he, uh, he killed the man's wife. Since then, no one knows what happened to Yates or the superintendent. Well. That is, until now. Superintendent Wallace Halstead greeted me at the door. He seemed as empty and unkempt as the patients he lorded over. And uh, as I conducted my evaluation, I couldn't help but notice how nervous he got when I passed by a small broom closet. And naturally, I felt it necessary to find out why. When I opened the door, I was hit by the overpowering smell of human excrement. As the light flickered on overhead, uh, I was horrified at what I saw. A withering man lay shackled to the floor in a pile of his own filth. Years of sunless existence had turned his skin, hair, and eyes milky white. 
He had been chained there for so long that his, his skin had grown over the shackles. Um, it took me a moment to realize that the husk of a man was Jack Yates. The police arrived and Dr. Halstead was carted off. Doctors moved Yates from the small room for the first time in 15 years. The floor beneath him was permanently stained with the shape of his silhouette. They, they tried to remove the shackles from under his skin, but the shock of it all was too much for him. Oh. He, uh, he died the next day. I watched as they walled up his tiny prison, trying to pretend that it never happened. I honestly hope he's in a better place. Although the staff still claims to hear his agonizing wails coming from inside the walls. Good golly. Um... Okay, let's talk to Iris. Oh. Insane mumbling. It's gonna be fine. Don't you worry. Everything will be okay. I'm not gonna let anyone. Damn. Anyone touch you. I'm only over worried about shock treatment, but she's already a lost cause. Why are you in there? Clovers have to touch you. All right, fine. You go see what our comatose witness has to offer. Buddy, how's it going? Iris, everything we found. Don't worry, I, I, I'm here to help you. Don't kill my sister. Get out, get out, move. We should leave, vacate the premises immediately. I know that symbol. I've seen it before. Where? I, I don't know. I, maybe in my mom's book. I don't think you can shoot me. Oh, I mean, you gotta look for clues, I guess. They definitely look familiar. This one means protection. What happened to her that she basically... Ah! I knew this was wait, 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 wait. Contract. She still knows. She still knows. Oh, boy. Uh... Sorry, kid. Maybe we didn't need you after all. Okay. Iris can see me. She's a medium, too? Maybe everyone she's attacking is a medium. Find out what Iris knows. Do I really want to possess that? I don't know if I want to. Whoops. Uh, guess I'm gonna have to. Whoa, or not? What the hell? She booted me out somehow. Oh. All right. Let's see if anything here can tell me what the hell is going on with this girl. <laughs> Wait, what? Jim ain't a medium. He's a large... No oh. <laughs> I know what you did there. I see what you did there. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, right. Uh, uh, determine what Iris knows about the Bell Killer. Okay, well, I can't possess her. What are these things for? Like, art therapy or something? Do no. Blue. Blue eyes. Cold as death. Who had blue eyes? And, and death? The killer! The killer! What does that mean? Blue eyes. Wolf eyes. Blue stare. Okay, Iris was deeply disturbed by someone with blue eyes. That just kind of reaffirms our suspicions, but okay. Uh, analyze the details. What is I was trying to communicate with this drawing? Let's look at it as a whole. Okay, uh... Let's see, we got a kitty, uh, probably getting out of Dodge. Got a bunch of monsters chasing people. Got the church in the background. Got a spooky looking tree. Got some Tim Burton animations going on back there. Whoa. And the lightning is a nice touch. Okay. 
Analyze details. Let's see. Uh, chased for sure. Chased. Uh, tormented. Yeah, chased. Tormented. But she lived. Iris was captured by her assailant. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, inspect. Troubled. I think that's putting it mildly. Iris must express her inner demons with these drawings. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, what about what about this over here? Whoa! What is Iris trying to communicate with this drawing? Uh, let's see. Uh, two girls. Okay, two girls. Linked because they're holding hands. Okay. So both of them. Okay. No. Oh no. Okay. Hold on. Iris has a twin sister. Okay. Uh, oh no. Go back. So one made it, and then probably the other one did not. Yeah, probably not. Oh no. Didn't get far in this one over here. Did we look at this? Straight up through the bed. I didn't even realize that. Flip the bed. Those things aren't light. Iris seems to be very... A no. <laughs> no kidding. Iris and pupil? I don't know. But there's another one here to look at. Oh, it's burned at the stake for sure. It's burned at the stake. Annabelle. Okay, can we not? Can we just? Can we just get the vague? Thank you. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. This relates to the Abel killer murder, where he burns someone at the stake. And I'm missing one more, unless, of course, the last one is concluding the investigation. Yep, I think it's to conclude the investigation. Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. Come on now. Come on. I hate, I hate seeing people suffer. I hate it. Company. Go. Just run. Just run. Go. Leave her alone. Oh, no. Run. 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 No, he's not going to be there yet. No, don't go back and look. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's enough to do it. Rose saved Iris's life, but paid with her own. The bell killer's going after young girls. But what was it? What would you see? Poor kid. Her sister freed her when they were about to be scorched, but she couldn't return the favor. Sorry. Leave us alone! Jesus. Uh, get you, uh. Are you okay? Um, uh, um, uh, Rose. She has flames. She was possessed. I told you to stay back. What, 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 what? Who are you? I'm Joy. You don't belong in this place. Oh, Jesus. 
crap, I'm so dead. All right, Iris could be the answer to everything. Help her, help her. Come on, she's coming with us. No. Oh, you're Jesus. Not taking her. You want the orderlies to shock her? She stays here. You want her to be safe outside? She comes with us. It's up to you. Yeah, what the hell, man? Uh -huh. Okay, well, uh, both Iris and her sister were captured by the bell killer. Iris escaped, but her sister was burned to death. And now they're kind of, like, linked. Uh, the, 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 psyche, the, the, the psychic link but oh just so okay we're gonna stop here because you know it's now hour and 30 minutes <laughs> and um i would at least try to keep these time frames similar at the very least um so wow okay that's a lot to take in holy crap okay um all right so we finally find iris she's over she's over her rocker she's gone crazy presumably at first we thought because uh her sister was literally burned at the stake by the killer however we just found out after that is that she didn't she didn't simply go crazy the ghost of her sister possessed her and that's what made her go crazy as soon as she got unpossessed um oh hey kev <laughs> you're just in time for the wrap-up um I could go on longer, but you know, uh, I've been told by a very good friend that I should keep them, uh, keep the time frame very similar. <coughs> You're the best, Kev. Anyway, um, so we found out that she's gone nuts, but only when possessed by uh, the killed sister. So as soon as she was unpossessed, she turned out to be okay and coherent and fine. So, uh, is fine voids exist? Yeah, but. It's like 9.42 and... Hmm. We'll keep it that way. Um, but so now basically... This is a good time because I saw it save anyway. So this is a good point to stop as a cliffhanger for the next part. Which is obviously escorting these two out of here. And um, hopefully to get to the bottom of things. Hopefully we can reason with Iris' sister and try to figure out what happened. Or at the very least have Iris's sister leave her be so that she can be okay because when she got unpossessed she was very much okay so this is a lot to take in this is a this is a lot all right um sorry the whole burn at the stake thing really knocked me for a loop anyway no it's good to call it now because I need a break I need a breather and uh, I can come back on Wednesday I might do it on Monday maybe I mean, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Uh, one of uh, one of the things I typically do is uh, 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 watch someone's uh, stream. My good friend Tailstake, but he's uh, uh, doing things on that day, so I might actually take the time to uh, do a short stream then too. So maybe I don't know. I'll have to deal with it. We miss you, Ta Tailstake. We miss you. Um, but um, yeah, that's it for me. Okay, okay. <laughs> I, I want I want to settle down. Watch some puppy videos and also do some investigation on the whole, uh, uh, what is it? The Fortnite thing. Cause that one's is, uh, I want to, I'm just going to research that cause I want to know what's going on. I don't play the game and I want to know what's going on. You know, something about black holes and even Neil deGrasse Tyson is like, you guys have trouble with some black holes and everyone's like, yes. So I want to know what's going on anyway. Thank you for joining me on this stream here. I'll be sure coming back on Wednesday. I might come back on Monday. So keep, I will definitely announce that beforehand uh, once I gauge everyone. It's apparently rebooting probably. I don't know. I'm about to research that. Uh, keep in touch. Feel free to reach out to me and, uh, and to do little talkings. And um, um, oh, oh, I'll make sure to, I'm going to do that right now before, not like during the stream, but Harlock, uh, before the night's done, I'm going to incorporate that little thing you made for me. It's going to be in the streams from now on. I'm going to figure out where, but, uh, it's going to happen. Anyway, thank you so much for, um, I, I will. I enjoy it to bits. It's so adorable. It's getting put in everything, <laughs> but thank you so much for joining me here. Uh, remember, keep your feet on the ground, your hopes up high, pray for rain and keep the humor dry. I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye, everybody.